I can't believe it. I can't believe Ben Shapiro is about to have me out here defending Hassan Piker. I cannot believe it. Hassan is a big boy and can defend himself, but unfortunately, while there are criticisms of left-wing people who advocate for the redistrib redistribution of wealth, we're not going to hear any of the salient or logical ones from Ben Shapiro, of all people. So I think it's probably worth uh, responding to this. That is a truism of politics that hypocrisy is always newsworthy. Hypocrisy is always newsworthy. If somebody is a religious Christian and then they have an affair, this is a newsworthy event, according to the media. If there's a politician who's right-wing, that politician turns out to be gay. Really, really newsworthy, according to the media. But there's one area of hypocrisy that is just not newsworthy to the media, like truly not newsworthy. And that, of course, is if you are a socialist who's extremely wealthy and gives very little charity. If you are that person, then hypocrisy just doesn't play a part. Hypo uh, okay, Hassan does give money to charity, and he, he's given quite a bit. The problem is I don't think he gives nearly as much as he could totally afford to. Like, if I were in Hassan's situation, I would be doing a monthly charity stream, possibly even a bi-monthly charity stream. He can absolutely afford to do a charity stream one day out of the month, and he would raise a fuck ton for charity, and it would be very, very little co going out of his pocket in any way. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm totally on board with that idea, but uh, Hassan doesn't give very little to charity. He, he That's just not true. That's... Part of what also look at Ben Shapiro's face. He looks like he has he's having he looks like he's nutting. This looks like he's coming. Ben Shapiro looks like he's coming here. This is the face he makes when he comes. Hypocrisy is never a problem because after all, you're calling for societal change. You yourself don't have to abide by any of those rules. Because some animals are more equal than other animals. But the socialist has the benefit of the bargain because you get to be as socialist as you want to, like Bernie Sanders, and then you get to have a lake house. You get to be a millionaire while proclaiming that billionaires aren't paying the flesh up. Okay, so this issue has become relevant over the course of the past couple of days because a guy named Hassan Piker, who I believe used to be a Young Turks guy, I don't really know that much about him, he apparently is a socialist Twitch streamer. There's a big article, a big glowing profile about him in New York Magazine titled Streaming with Hassan Piker, the AOC of Twitch. I'm a political commentator with, like, stands. Okay, well, in the past few months, Hassan Piker, it turns out, has been revealed to be a very wealthy person, which is good for him. He has a lot of folks who are following him over at Twitch. That is, his, uh, that is his prerogative, and I'm, I'm glad for him that he's been able to build a following. But a couple of times in the last month, it's been revealed that this out-and-out -out socialist, I mean, this is what he calls himself, that he is um, a very wealthy man. Quote, Hassan Piker was in a rage. A million tabs were pinched together like sardines at the top of his browser. His jittery cursor bounced between them, summoning news work, network news, Chiron's YouTube brands, viral tweets, and TikTok memes. The day's trending topic, Piker, who is 30, had purchased a $2.7 million house in West Hollywood. An ordinary Twitch streamer's housing wouldn't make headlines. But over the past five years, Piker has become one of the most prominent socialist pundits. It really is true. You know, have you... I'm really curious, because this is where you'd have to call out hypocrisy, okay? This is the only way you could call Hi Hassan Piker a hypocrite for being rich. That would be if you found instances of Hassan Piker criticizing Twitch streamers at some point in his past who make a lot of money. I don't, I never hear socialists, at least not the ones that Hassan uh, would ever agree with. Like, I never hear actual not crazy, non tanky, like the type of people that Hassan would ever, like, involve himself with saying that streamers are the group, are part of the group that we need to, like, are, are part of the rich that, that they need to eat or whatever, or that needs to be uh, gulagged or whatever, right? Like, you never hear these people complaining about streamers, and the reason for that is streaming's probably one of the least exploitative jobs out there. Don't get me wrong, there's shit that goes down, obviously, like giveaways or certain sponsorships in a way that is manipulation or that is an exploitation of your audience, right? Um, but for the most part, most streamers who like are just sitting there and they're reacting to videos or they're you know playing a game and they get donations from their audience it's not really like the same as jeff bezos or elon musk you know we're not really talking the same tier here now i admit very rich streamers do have the um benefit of not having to worry about bills like that's just the farthest worry from their mind at that point if you're like a wealthy wealthy streamer unless you're really bad with money and that's something that most working class Americans don't have 
the privilege of of having on their side. You know, if you're working class, chances are you do have to worry about the bills. Um, that is like your front and foremost worry in, in, in the back of your mind. Um, and if you're a really popular, wealthy streamer and you're making like a couple hundred a year even, um, that's probably not really a worry for you. It's really not that much of a worry for you. Um, but you never see someone like Hassan or Hassan himself calling out those streamers. It's always like Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk and and, and, and whatnot, like w really, really rich people. It's always what you see socialists actually calling out um, besides like crazy psychopaths on Twitter. And it's in America. The controversy about the purchase had made it to Fox News and Breitbart and Piker was prepared to take on the interlopers who logged on to see the fireworks. Quote, the only reason my house is expensive is because of the area I live in, he growled. Are you guys really that stupid? That doesn't, that's not even a response to the charge. The charge is that for a socialist, you seem to be spending large, my friend. It doesn't like you could have. There are a lot of places that are not in West Hollywood that don't cost two point seven million dollars. They're all over the United States. You can get yourself a tiny little shack and live yourself the Henry David Thoreau lifestyle for probably thirty grand somewhere. The reason why socialists like to call out billionaires, at least from what I can tell, is because billionaires and millionaires that are you know owners of some kind of capital, not like just oh I made I made all my millions through the stock market or through TikTok or yada yada yada. You never really see. You know, like you're like you're one or two millionaires even getting criticized by by socialists. You're you. It's usually pointing at the like top of the one percent. Look at what capitalism enables. Look just how wealthy someone can be. So wealthy that they have more money in their own assets than the wealth of of third world nations. Look how broken capitalism is that you can have people who are just hoarding money as a contest at this point. You know, it's like, I want to be on top. It's almost just trying to outdo each other. They've got more money than they could ever need, ever, than, and, than thousands of generations below them could ever, ever need. And yet there are people out there who can't even eat every day or who don't have a home or who just have money problems in general. People who live in countries that the exploits of these capitalist nations and industries um, are destroying through climate change. A lot of third world countries are, are being harmed by climate change. It's making their problems there, especially when it comes to poverty and famines and droughts, even worse. That is typically the core of the general leftist criticism of those that are wealthy and who hoard their wealth. And Hassan and just Twitch streamers in general don't really fall into that category of people. He says, it's my labor. I'm the one who's streaming for 10 hours. Welcome to capitalism, my dude. It's my labor. What? Yes, whose labor? So. Okay. Capitalism doesn't really seem to prioritize the low-level workers making money. That's not generally where capitalism leads. The whole idea behind Marxist uh, thought, though, is around the workers owning the means of production and getting their fair share. That's literally the whole aesthetic of, uh, of, of socialism, right? Even somebody who isn't a socialist can acknowledge that. In other words, you bet on yourself, you've done really well, and you believe that you deserve to keep the proceeds of that labor. But aren't you exploiting all the people who are engaged in commerce with you? After all, what service of value are you providing them? You are Twitch streaming video games. Is that a vital social service? What makes that service significantly more important, socially speaking, from a Marxist perspective? Wait, your job's not important as a social service. Why do you deserve to make money? See, hypocritical, that's anti-socialism. Effective. And the guy who picks up the garbage, why doesn't he own a $2.7 million home in West Hollywood? According to New York Magazine, Piker is a Twitch streamer who spends every day in front of a camera speaking to his 1.5 million followers. But unlike most of the platform's top users, Piker mostly talks politics. He trawls through Twitter and roasts bad takes from career right-wing correspondents like Ben Shapiro and Tucker Carlson. He breaks down hawkish New York Times op as line by line, steadily working himself into a frothy fury. It's free associative and open-ended. I have an accelerated version of brainworms. He says, I'm literally always online. I'm consuming media nonstop. Tune into a Piker stream, watch him condemn the civilian death toll in Afghanistan. An hour later, he may move on to revisiting his favorite WWE feuds. Fans don't need to have studied Marx to understand where Piker is coming from. Um, well... They, they might have to read Marx to understand why Piker is violating core tenets of Marxism. He looms over his streaming rig at six foot four, broad shouldered in a silver bracelet and paint speckled cowboy bebop shirt, gnashing a cut of nicotine gum against his molars. On election night, from the same room, he hosted nearly 230,000 concurrent viewers, making him the sixth most watched election live stream across the internet. A month prior, he broadcast playing the video game Among Us with representatives AOC and Ilhan Omar. So you can hear in his voice, can you hear how angry Ben Shapiro is? He sounds fucking 
<laughs> furious. He sounds so mad. You can hear it in his voice. And you yeah. know what the reason for that is? You want to know why I think Ben Shapiro sounds so angry right now? I think it's because Hassan is a master at bringing in the Zoomers to the left. Like, say what you want. At this point, I would argue Hassan alone does more to bring, like, edgy Zoomers to the left than me, Destiny, and Vosh combined. Hassan is up there as one of the largest streamers on Twitch, period. He's buddies with Trainwrex and XQC and all those huge fucking Twitch guys. Um, and unfortunately, yes, he is probably the most prominent left-leaning voice in this entire sphere of the internet. Whether you like him or not, this is just... A an arguable fact. He is the largest left-wing voice in this area of the internet, Twitch, YouTube, etc. right? Okay, and, and then later in this little sop piece, he talks about the tax the rich dress that AOC wore. And here's what he said, quote, I think the Met Gala is a disgusting, gluttonous exercise. And if given the opportunity to go, I'd do it in an effing heartbeat. I'm sorry everyone would. Why wouldn't you want to hang out with Frank Ocean? They're not going to the effing Davos summit. Well, but yes, they are. What do you think the Met Gala is? It is a bunch of rich liberals who are getting together to feed themselves for their rich liberalism. Again, that is true. The, the media are not interested in calling out hypocrisy. The reason I say that is because this story was now updated. Okay, so there was a Twitch data, a Twitch data leak. Let me give you an example of Ben Shapiro actually being hypocritical, and this is undeniable. Um, this is actually an example of almost every right wing creator online um, being inconsistent and uh, hypocritical. So Ben Shapiro rails against. Silicon Valley and uh, rails against like big tech such as YouTube and Twitter and Twitch and all of that for, um, you know, punishing conservatives and talks about how they're bad and they're evil and yada, yada, yada. And yet he still uses all of those platforms to upload his content. When people watch his videos and those videos are monetized, that money goes to YouTube. He's being a complete hypocrite. He will at one moment say that these platforms are awful and we ought to hate them, while he still uploads his content there, benefits from being on those platforms, and gives those platforms money in the form of their cut of the, you know, the ad revenue from people watching his videos. It's not because he doesn't believe what he's saying, it's because where the fuck else would he upload his content? YouTube's the, the biggest video sharing platform in the world. It's impractical to do what he does and not upload his content to YouTube. Just like it is impractical to be a politician and to get your message out there and to be invited to the Met Gala and not go to the Met Gala and wear a dress that, it, that sends the message that you stand for out there, tax the rich in the case of AOC, who he's criticizing now and trying to call a hypocrite. Like, yeah, people are willing to compromise on their ideals in the long run if it helps them achieve those ideals in the future. She may not like rich liberals. That doesn't mean AOC shouldn't go to Met Gala and spread her message to a, to a, at a very televised event. Here's how it's reported from the New York Times. Twitch, a live video site popular with gamers, said on Wednesday it had endured a data breach that not security researchers believe may have provided sweeping insight into the platform's computer code, security vulnerabilities, and payments to its content creators. Twitch, which is owned by Amazon, confirmed it had been breached hours after a user posted what the user claimed was an enormous trove of Twitch data onto the anonymous message board website 4chan. The user said the file contained, among other items, the history of Twitch's source code, proprietary software development kits, an unreleased competitor to Steam and online game store, and programs, and a list of... Transformer, the uh, debate is over. ...the amount of money that each of the site's streamers has earned since 2019. Find out how much your favorite streamer is really making, the user posted. Jeff Bezos paid 970 million bucks for this. We're giving it away for free. Again, we're going through this New York Times piece about Twitch. Buried way down in this article, way down in this article, is this little revelation. Quote, according to the list of earnings, which could not be independently verified, some notable personalities had made millions of dollars since 2019. One streamer, Hassan Piker, anticipated people getting angry about the amount of money the list said he had made. Just woke up to some fun news, he tweeted. Can't wait for people to be mad at me about my publicly available sub counts again. And then he trended. He said, bro, come on. Okay, so it never says in here what exactly Hassan Piker made. Okay, now, let's just put it this way. It, it makes headlines every time a conservative signs a, a contract. Okay, if the IRS information of conservative commentators were leaked, you think that wouldn't be front page news? It would absolutely be front page news. And it wouldn't be about the, the leak or how the leak came about. What it would be about was the amount of money that everybody was making. How do we know this? Because the front page of every major newspaper this week was... <laughs> oh, yes, Ben Shapiro. No, nobody's talking about how much money those streamers were making when it got leaked. Yeah, guys, 
you guys were on Twitter, right? Not a, not a soul was talking about <laughs> Hassan's leaked income. Not a soul on Twitter. Not a single... It was like a ghost town. Everyone was criticizing, however, that data from Twitch leaked. Nobody was talking about how much those streamers' incomes were when they got leaked. So, what exactly did these leaked documents show? It showed that Hassan, apparently, rakes in about three million bucks a year by doing his Twitch streaming, which is a lot of money. It's a lot more money than your average, day-to-day, -day Marxist, lower-class worker. Why isn't that the headline? The reason that isn't the headline is because socialists are never held to their own standards. They are never held to their own standards. See, here's the thing about socialism. Really? If you actually held to your standard, then you would presumably be very concerned with giving away a lot of your money to charity or ensuring that the amount of money that you made for your socially useless service, according to Marxist theory, because of course your labor should be judged by some outside metric that is not the market. So somebody's going to have to explain. Bro, I don't read theory, okay? I, I, legit, I don't even read theory all that much, but I've read enough that I know that both, so I've read Bukunin and I've read Marx. I've read the the, um, the Communist Manifesto and I've read The Conquest of Bread. Really basic shit. I don't like to read, but it's what I've read so far, okay? And in both those bits of literature, they talk about the value for entertainment and art and um, non, like, uh, uh, what's the word? There was a word used for it. Non, um, non-utilitarian, like, work. Like, work that, that that's not necessarily necessary for society, but stuff like, art and whatnot entertainment being like completely valid as a as a career and you're even allowed to own your own stuff literally, literally like i believe a quote like and this is anarchist theory even um i believe there was a quote in um the conquest of, of bread which is written by bakunin if i remember correctly um there was literally a quote that said that you are entitled to ownership of the clothes in your back the bed you sleep in the hammer and the anvil that you that you build whatever you build with whatever you produce you're allowed to own things and have stuff under like a socialist or even like an anarcho-communist uh perspective where people believe that anarcho-communism you can't own anything but even the like the top theorists on this like in the past historically say yeah of course you own your bed and your house and you, the thing and your hammer and your anvil and your clothes of course you own those things of course you're allowed to own things you know that god ben shapiro's eyebrows are really wild i've always thought i had wild eyebrows like very thick and and you know hard to deal with like if i if i do this my eyebrows get a little weird okay they get a little fuzzy that's why i like to Keep them nice and slick the right way. But God, Ben Shapiro's eye eyebrows are like a couple of fuzzy caterpillars on his face. I also am not sure how you defend a $2.7 million home or $3 million income for doing those things and then say it's my labor. And they're not even. No, no, no. That's my perspective, dude. If you're going to do the it's my labor routine, welcome to capitalism, my dude. Seriously. <laughs> my dude. Welcome to, welcome to capitalism, my dude. Only capitalism believes the workers should be paid for the Welcome their labor. That's a capitalist idea that the workers ought to be re compensated for their labor. Welcome to capitalism, my dude. So it is, uh, it is amusing to watch the media play this game. You're a hypocrite if you are a right winger who abrogates your own principles. If you're a left wing socialist who earns millions of dollars for talking online, then you are not a hypocrite in any way. By the way, if you're a if you're a left wing outlet that rails against the evils of capitalism while taking millions of dollars from hedge funds in YouTube, nobody has to hold you to account or point out that you need to. If you are if you are Young Turks, for yeah. example. Socialism is when you don't get paid for your label. La label. Labor. Karl Marx. True. Can we please make the donation sound? Ben Shapiro saying, welcome to capitalism, my dude. Yeah, let's do that, actually. Someone clip that shit. Get a clip of Ben Shapiro saying, welcome to capitalism, my dude. We're making that the new donation sound. The new sub noise. Every, every time someone gives me money, it's going to be welcome to capitalism, my dude. And you attempt to crush your own unionization efforts, right? If, you're, if you are the, the outlet for unionization, unionization is the only thing that matters. And then, like, a couple of years ago, it turns out that people at your place are trying to unionize, and you yell at them not to unionize. <laughs> Nobody seems to care very much about that. And now, here's my care. belief about hypocrisy. You can make the case for Hassan, or T TYT, or who, I believe Hassan used to be a TYT. You can make the case for all of these people that personal activity doesn't abrogate the principle. Or you can make the case that the Marxist principles are correct, and you are living in in opposition to those Marxist principles because everybody is a sinner, right? This is sort of the religious perspective. There are religious principles about morals. You don't always live up to those because everybody is a sinner. That doesn't mean the morals are wrong. It means you're wrong. But you can't have it both ways. You can't say everything I'm doing is entirely justified and I'm a Marxist, I'm a Marxist stalwart while simultaneously living high on the hog the way that a capitalist would. Here's my capitalist view of all this. Congratulations to Hassan on earning his business success. I hope he enjoys his $2.7 million house and his $200,000 of earned income every month. I hope he enjoys it to the fullest of his ability and lives a Wait, he's actually just functioning on the idea that, like, 
socialism is when you don't get paid. Like socialism is when bread lines and poverty and the government takes everything from you. He's unironically operating on that perspective. Does Ben Shapiro know what socialism is? Does he actually know like what the definition of socialism is? If I asked him what the definition was, I feel like he'd say the definition, like dictionary definition of it, and then proceed to not apply that definition to the way he talks about it. Happy, fulfilling capitalist life. Same for all of the people over at places like TYT. But please stop pretending that you are a good Marxist if you don't live like a Marxist and justify yourself in capitalist terms. Is TYT even Marxist? I feel like TYT is mostly like sock dem. Like they're certainly more left leaning than CNN or MSNBC or anything, but I don't even think that TYT is Marxist or socialist. I mean, certainly they have socialists working for them, but the lean is more sock dem, if anything. They st tend to focus on like more pragmatic shit like policy of socialist redistribution. I know what you're thinking. It's time to binge some more Ben Shapiro videos. Well, okay. TYT is mostly sock dem, true. Um, Anna Kasparian has been leaning further left lately. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, didn't Ben Shapiro and Anna Kasparian debate? I, I guess Anna Kasparian probably pissed Ben Shapiro off and won or something. That would be really cool. Yeah, is he coping? That's actually great. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, ring the bell icon, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and of course, join my fan discord where we watch movies and play games. And uh, I even debate people in there. So if you want to debate me, be sure to join the fan discord in order to do that. And um, of course, if you want to support me financially to help me doing what I keep, help me keep doing what I do. Welcome to capitalism. Uh, you can donate, subscribe or gift subs over my, on my website, YouTube, Twitch, uh, Patreon, Streamlabs, whatever you choose to support me with. Don't donate if you can't afford it. Only do it if it's money you don't need and you don't know what to do with it. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and have a good one.